Hey guys, welcome back to Axangel RC. So, continuing with the trend of micro Wi Fi copters, I was very intrigued when I saw the Chearson CXOF, and even more so when I read the specs. In addition to being slightly larger than one of its predecessors, the CX10A, the CXOF has a camera, Wi Fi control, and video downlink and an optical flow position hold system. How insane is this? And unlike the Kaideng Egg Copter, it has a proper remote and that is a plus in my book. You also get a prop removal tool, some spare props, a charger for the copter and a charger for the remote controller. Yes, you heard right, the remote controller has an integrated battery that you can charge with the provided USB cable, so no longer will you need to also buy some AAA batteries. Only downside is, you can't charge the copter from the remote, so you will have to plug it in a phone charger or a laptop or a power bank. The remote controller has some pretty nice control sticks that I actually like and also a smartphone holder that can take a phone up to 6.2 inches. Once you download the app and connect the copter, you can control it via the Wi-Fi link in addition to seeing the video feed. What was weird here though was that after connecting the phone I was no longer able to control the copter via the remote controller except for the takeoff and landing buttons which kinda makes it useless if you want to be looking at the video video as well. And at a $60 price tag, this is one expensive model to use without a camera. Also, I was not able to get it to make a flip from the remote, although the button in the app worked fine every time. So in the air, the copter is very pleasant to control with the remote, but once you connect your smartphone, the control actually is transferred to it, which is not optimal, but kinda makes the remote obsolete and begs the question why does it have a smartphone holder? if you then need to take the phone out in order to be able to fly the model. Anyway, even with the phone things are okay. I actually prefer to use the gyro mode where I have to tilt the phone to make the copter go in any direction and that works okay. Again, as with the Kaideng Egg, we have the problem with a too narrow field of view of the camera which makes flying only by looking at the video feed a bit more difficult in tight spaces. Although, this one has positioned hold and that actually helps a lot. Just take a look at this. This is the first time I pressed the takeoff button on this model and it flew off of the table to about one meter height and just stayed in one place and hovered. It was amazing to see this in a model so tiny. I repositioned it using the app controls and you can see how stable the position hold is considering it was about 20 to 30 centimeters above the table. On uh, one side it is impressive to have functionality like this on a small scale like this but on the other hand it is also impressive that it actually works of course after this I just had to go and test this outside and trust me it took my friends a while to believe the thing was actually holding position by itself they even started playing around with it to see how well it did that and honestly the copter works pretty darn well it is amazing throughout all of these flights I literally put the remote and smartphone down and just chased it around with the camera because it does drift a bit from time to time but that is to be expected and still amazing performance not the longest lasting one I'm afraid two three minutes are about as much as you can hope for but your friends will be seriously impressed by the capabilities of the Chearson CXOF another thing that impressed me was the video feed to the phone the clips bit rate is a measly 500 kilobits per second and yet the video looks surprisingly sharp and deep detailed for such a low bitrate. It is not, however, the smoothest thing you will see and the image jump cuts here and there because when the Wi-Fi signal gets low it pauses the video recording and when it picks up a valid one it starts it back up so you see only the video from the good signal moments and it looks weird but the colors are nice and when you mostly fly indoors the signal should be strong so the video should be better. The CXOF 
OF can also do flips, however for me this only works from the smartphone app, but you know, it is one more thing in its arsenal for impressing people and children especially like seeing these things do flips, so I would say that seeing their reaction alone is worth the price. Overall the Chirson CX OF is a pretty impressive drone for its size and abilities and even more surprisingly the key abilities do work better than I would have thought. Yes, there are some things that could use an improvement, the Wi-Fi range and stability, the camera lens and smartphone app and remote controller integration, but for what this thing offers I would say it is easily worth what they're asking for it and would make somebody very happy if given to as a present. Now, Thank you for watching and if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to follow me on Facebook for daily updates. If you fancy any of the items featured in this video please consider buying them via the links in the description below as this would go a long way towards supporting this channel and would be greatly appreciated. I wish you happy flying and until next time.